G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So jumping straight into Go Battle League and uh, we're currently in, uh, well, open Master League. Uh, I'm going to give Master League Classic a go and jump into Giratina Origin, Dialga and Mewtwo. So Giratina running Shadow Claw, Ominous Wind and Shadow Ball. Mewtwo running Psycho Cut, Psy Strike and Focus Blast, and Diago running Dragon Breath, Draco Meteor and Iron Head. So nothing really spectacular there. So the only questionable, uh, there's a couple of questionable ones. So Giratina Origin, should Shadow Ball or um, Dragon Pulse and Mewtwo Focus Blast or Flamethrower um, just for a bit more coverage. But I am running what I'm running. So first game and we've got the mirror match straight up. Um, so what I want to do here, what I like to do is um, try and get an extra uh, Shadow Claw in, um, so let them throw first, so hopefully I can get an extra Shadow Claw in, maybe, maybe not able to do so, um, that time I think I was able to sneak one in, um, shield up both of these, they're usually ominous wind, but it's just, to be honest, not worth the risk unless you're 100% positive it's going to be an om ominous wind, um, and then there I was able to get to another one before them. So obviously got the uh, extra fast moves in. And then out comes Melmetal. So Melmetal's not great for my back line. And that's, so Focus Blast Mewtwo is going to do pretty well against it. I was able to get to the Shadow Ball here. And that's going to do a huge chunk of damage. Um, but Focus Blast just takes such a long time to get to. And when shields are up, maybe the Flamethrower would be a better option here. Um, so that's why I'm contemplating uh, the side strike flamethrower combination. So able to get to the um, side strike, and that's going to be doing enough to take it out. Out comes their Mewtwo, and I instantly swap into my own. Or well, out comes their Dialga, so I instantly swap into my own Dialga. The only way they're going to win this is if they Draco Meteor me um, as soon as they get enough energy to do so, uh, which means their attack will be debuffed, um, and that will give me time to charge up on my Mewtwo and throw because they've got debuffed attack. Um, they're not going to be able to take me out before I can get to the side strike. Um, so able to take that game uh, fairly comfortably in the end there. So good game um, straight up. And we'll jump into uh, the next one. Um, Dialga is best my best buddy. Um, and that's something that you do want to do. So Dialga best buddied um, does hit a break point against non best buddied Dialgas. Um, so 100% if you've uh, if you want to best buddy something, uh, Dialga is the way to go. So second match, um, Mewtwo on their side, which is really unfortunate for them. Um, but Mewtwo does put out a lot of damage. Um, so I'm going to throw the uh, uh, Ominous Wind there, get the shield. I'm going to shield this up because they were charging for a very long time. Um, but it is just a side strike, which is unfortunate. I'm going to throw another Ominous Wind here. Um, and they're going to send a second shield so they were charging up a long long time so i'm going to shield this up and it is the shadow ball so really good use of the shield there and then i will be able to fully farm them down um, out comes the groudon so groudon's going to be not too bad for me i will be able to get that shadow ball off um, and then they're going to have to oh when we see mp tide they're going to have to earthquake me to take me out here and even then it's going to be very very close and it just wasn't enough so i am able to get to this um, Shadow Ball, and that takes them out, and out comes the Lugia. So Lugia um, has become a bit more popular pick, and that's because of the charge move Aero Blast. Um, and so I'm going to go straight for the Draco. Shields are down, so why not? Um, Aero Blast comes through, and even though it's not very effective, you can see how much damage that actually does. Huge amounts of damage. The Draco doesn't even take it out. That is insane. So it just show, goes to show... Um, how tanky Lugia is, and with that move, Aeroblast, it's just an absolute beast of a move. So really, really good uh, move for it, um, and was still able to take it out, so swapped it out, so get rid of that debuff, and then jump in with the Mewtwo, and uh, even though Side Strike is resisted, I'm going to be doing enough damage followed up f when it's uh, following up a Draco Media. So able, able to take that second game again reasonably comfortable um, in the end so which is really really nice so able to get that second uh, shadow ball on there the ground on um, absolutely spectacular um, 
obviously only just made it by uh, a couple of HP, but that's all you need, um, a couple of HP. So um, the only issue at the moment, as you can see, is finding matches. So sometimes um, because I've opened up more leagues, so there's Master League, there's Premier Cup, um, there's the Holiday Cup, and then there's Master League Classic, which is what I'm currently playing in. Um, yeah, it spreads out the player base a little bit, so it sometimes can be a bit difficult to find a match. So you just jumped out and then jump straight back in and managed to find a match instantly on the, on the jump back in. So that's really good. Uh, again, we've got the mirror match, so I'm going to do the same thing. So let them throw first. Um, now, I wasn't able to get to a Shadow Ball, so I know they're throwing an Ominous Wind. So I'll let that one go, and then I'll charge up a little bit extra and throw my own Ominous Wind, and we'll see if we grab one of their shields. I was able to grab the shield. Oh, and there's the boost. There is the boost. Everyone loves to, well, love to see the boost when it's you. Hate to see the boost when it's uh, someone else. Um, get a shield this one up even if it is the Ominous Wind, and it is the Shadow Ball this time. Um, they, in that situation, should not have thrown the Shadow Ball. I was always going to shield, um, but shielded that up, and uh, they left the game. So, uh, good game there. <laughs> really, really very quick. Um, so, if someone gets the boost, it's probably better, especially if it's in the mirror match, just to throw the Ominous Winds. The other person is pretty much always going to shield, so because they want to keep that Giratina alive. Um, so jumping into the next one, and Mewtwo on the lead. So I'm going to shield this up, and it is the Psy Strike, which is unfortunate. Um, but I will. Uh, I do need to shield one up. So you're going to throw the Ominous Wind. No boost for me this time. And then they get to another one. I know this is the Psy Strike because they weren't charging energy long enough. Psy Strike comes through, and as you can see, it does a lot of damage. And I want to over farm just a couple because Mewtwo gets the charge moves really quickly, so don't get greedy. Um, and they do shield that up, so that's really interesting. Um, and I'm going to do the same. I'll match the shields and win switch here, and we'll see what they want to do. So let's see what comes out. Um, so out comes the uh, Giratina, um, and that's fine. I'll Shadow Ball that, does 50% damage, and then I'll swap into my Mewtwo, hoping to, oof, um, hoping to get them to swap, but they swapped and caught the charge move. So out comes the Kyogre, and because I had energy, I'm able to charge up a second charge move before they're even able to get to one surf. So really unfortunate for them because there that goes. Um, they're now going to be able to iron head me down. Uh, it's going to take me out, um, but that's absolutely fine. I'll come in with my own Dialga, um, and they will not be able to get to another charge move before I can uh, fast move farm them down. So pretty simple win there. Even if they could, um, I would throw iron head as soon as possible. If it, they had a little bit more health, I'd throw Iron Head as soon as possible because the only way that they were going to win that match is if they Draco mediated me. Um, and I can obviously get to the Iron Head first and uh, win that match pretty comfortably. So nice, uh, nice little win for me there. So we'll jump into the next one. And again, another mirror match. Uh, so people seem to be loving the Giratina on the lead. Um, so I'll shield up this first one. Um, it is... A Shadow Ball, so really good shield, really good shield. I've got the Ominous Wind prepped, um, so I'll throw that and hopefully grab a shield. I did not grab a shield, so that's interesting. Um, and then I will look to throw the second one. Um, we'll see if we grab a shield this time. No shield, um, so I'm down a uh, down a shield. So I'm expecting them to switch out because if they're not running... Um, most people are running Dialg Dialga counters. Um, but it looks like they're uh, not, um, and they're just letting this one go head to head with the uh, Dialga v Dialga. Um, but now they do swap into the Mewtwo and get a little bit of extra farm to take me out here. So, um, not too bad. Able to get to that Ominous Wind, and we'll see whether they want to spend a shield. Uh, they do spend the shield, and then the question is do I shield this up or do I let it go? So, I'm going to let this go. Uh, and I'm going to come in with my own Mewtwo here. So Mewtwo able to get to um, the Flamethrower. So Mewtwo's got the Flamethrower, and I'm up a shield here. So I'm going to throw my own uh, Psy Strike, and does almost enough damage. And then, oh, we CMP tie. So mine's a Hundo. Um, 
a Hundo Mewtwo. Unfortunately, we see MP tie, which means I've not got energy to throw and I've not got a shield for the Dialga when it comes out and it's now going to be able to take me out. So had we not seen MP tied, um, I would have been in a much, much better position because I obviously would have kept that energy um, and would have been able to throw instantly on the Dialga. So able to go four and one in that set because of that CMP tie. Running a Hundo Mewtwo, you don't often assume that you're gonna lose the CMP tie. Um, it beats everything except for best buddy Mewtwo. Um, it's also got 15 attack, but it is what it is. So four and one, happy days. Um, jumping into this next one. Again, we've got the Giratina mirror match. Shield up that first one. Let them get throw first. I'm gonna throw the Ominous Wind and see what we get. So got the shield from them. Um, this one, I don't think they had enough for a Shadow Ball, which they don't, um, so I'm going to let that go. So save that shield and then throw my own Ominous Wind, and they do not shield that up. Um, out comes a, another Ominous Wind, they're able to get there before me, so obviously they snuck an extra move through, um, which is unfortunate. So they're going to come out with my Dialga and farm down, so expecting them to come out with something interesting um, and they certainly did um, out comes the charizard and i'm gonna shield this up because i'm expecting the blast burn blast burn is going to do huge amounts of damage going to over farm quite a bit and then throw the um, iron head iron head is going to be resisted um, and then i'm going to switch out because i do want to um, i'll catch this blast burn on the mewtwo and we'll see what we've got if the best option they have against my um Dialga is uh, Charizard, then um, I want to sort of save that and let the Mewtwo go. I'm able to get to this Iron Head. Um, Iron Head is going to be resisted on the uh, Kyogre, but still enough to, with the Psy Strike damage, um, Iron Head and uh, the Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath is just such an oppressive move, such a beast of a move. So able to take that game again with relative comfort so getting some interesting matches and again another giratina on the lead so this one um, is the altered form rather than the origin so expecting to see a dragon claw come through and i want to catch that on my um, dialga because it's going to be doing neutral damage rather than super effective damage because of the steel typing um, yeah so much better to catch it there um, and then out comes their own dialga and let's see if they're able to uh, take me out. So I'm actually going to shield this up, which is a very questionable shield, but it does mean I win switch. Um, fully expecting to see, and now I'm thinking, why do I need to win switch? Neither of my Pokemon are particularly great against Giratina. Thankfully, they came out with a Mewtwo, which gives me all the options in the world. I can bring my Giratina out to it. Um, and then try and catch a side strike, which is what I'm going to do. So able to catch that side strike on my own Mewtwo, and then come out with the, uh, they obviously swap into the Giratina. It's gonna shadow sneak me, which is fine. No shield required. Giratina um, origin is my win condition here. So let that go. So gonna come out with the uh, Giratina, uh, throw that ominous win before they get a chance to throw a move, and boom, there's the boost. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of moves there, and I'm going to let that one go, even if they throw, and the reason is because I don't want them to throw a Shadow Ball with Mewtwo, that's going to do a lot more damage. So let that go, got the boost, and they left the game. Um, so pretty comfortable they're helping with the win, so happy days. Um, so you've got to love that boost when it's working for you. Not so good when you see it against you. So Dialga on the lead, not ideal. I swap into my Mewtwo just because every team basically is running a Dialga counter, and there it is, the, um, the Groudon. So I was hoping they would swap out into something else, um, and then I can bring my Groudon out and my ground on my Dialga out at another time and uh, potentially avoid the uh, the big, big uh, counter for it. So they try and bait me with a fire punch there and it did not pay off for them. Um, so that works out all right for me. I'm able to win that match. They swap into a Ho-Oh, which is a, a really interesting pick i'm gonna throw the ominous wind no shield and at some point they're gonna have to start shielding um 
I'm thinking about shielding. I'm going to let this go, and it is a brave bird, so that does huge amounts of damage. Um, now, I do know that they've got a... Um, so what I should have done there is shielded that up and then charge down uh, because I'm not going to get to three... Uh, they're not going to get to um, three charge moves before they take me out. Um, they're going to be able to drag and breath me down without having to worry about it. So I should have shielded up that second brave bird from the Ho-O um, and then came into the match in that respect. But this way they charge me down with two shields left. So brutal, absolutely brutal. Um, really the play there was to shield up the Ho-O and... Um, yeah, win that match, throw some energy on the Dialga, um, and then I could have switched that match up. But, I mean, it is what it is, and I will 100% be doing that next time. So, again, another Giratina Mirror match, so I'm fine with this. Um, out comes the Ominous Wind. Um, I think I was able to get an extra charge, uh, an extra fast move through, so happy days. Um, going to shield up the first one. They shield up mine as well. I'm going to shield up their second one. Not sure. Another ominous wind coming through. That's fine. I'm going to throw a couple of extra fast moves and then go straight into my uh, my ominous wind. And they're able to, and I get the boost. Another boost. So got some uh, pretty lucky boost opportunities. This is an early boost. So this is what you love to see. Love to see an early boost. And when a Dialga comes out against the bo boosted Giratina, oh, it's good times. Look at that Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball, goodbye. Um... Mewtwo comes out, and uh, Dialga, uh, Giratina is just absolutely gone to town. So here, I'm going to come out with my Dialga, and then just look to farm down. Uh, whether they have, they can't get to a Focus Blast before I can uh, get to a Iron Head. Um, so Shadow Ball comes through, doesn't do too much damage, and Iron Head takes the win. So, I mean, ah, the boost definitely made that game very, very straightforward um, without the boost uh, we were running the exact same line so would have been well apart from they had a shadow ball Mewtwo and I had focus blast Mewtwo so not ideal um, but still not too bad so um, possibly a different outcome but I did get an extra couple of fast moves through so it could have been interesting to see what uh, what happened there so We'll jump into the next one and see what we get. So Mel Metal on the lead. So really good lead. Um, don't want this matched up against my um, Dialga. And then they make an absolutely amazing swap. And it's a Shadow Ball. So what a wasted Shadow Ball um, into the Snorlax. You never like to see it. Um, Snorlax comes through. I'm not going to shield this up. If it's a superpower, fine. Uh, but it's the Earthquake, and that's massive. So I'm going to look to overcharge, over farm just a little bit. Um, and then throw this and see what they want to do. So they don't shield that up. That's fine. Earthquake takes all of their energy. So I had time to over farm a little bit. Um, this one, if they want to bait me, fine, bait me. Um, if they don't, then they're going to take me out. And they've taken me out, which is absolutely fine. So I'm going to come in with the Giratina here um, and tank this Rock Slide because there's no point shielding up a debuffed rock slide um they're gonna throw another one and it's a superpower so it gets even worse so i'm assuming they're debuffing themselves because they do not want to me to be farming up all the energy in the world but instead i'm gonna throw a what they probably should have done is just swapped out so i'm gonna throw a charge move and then look to over farm they've got two shields so there's no point me throwing a uh, Shadow Ball, so I'm just going to throw Ominous Winds here, and oh, and it's a uh, it's a matchup, so this is not looking pretty for them, not looking pretty at all, um, so I'm just going to throw the Ominous Winds here, um, expecting to get some shields, let's see, and oof, they're able to get there, so matchup in the back, and I've got Dynamic Punch, not enough to take me out, which is hilarious in its own right so there goes their second shield and uh, they're able to farm me down i'm going to come in with my mewtwo here and i won't be that guy i'll shield this up even though there is no point and then mewtwo will take out the uh match champ and uh yeah that was not ideal uh matchups for them so able to go four and one in this second set as well so a couple of four and ones which is really nice uh rewarded with an eevee and i do have a video on improving your excellent throws um and uh, check that out because that was clearly not a very good throw but able to catch nonetheless so um really good there and just going for a 
classic master league and a classic team so old school um master league does is expensive but i mean these are pokemon i was using from the very start and they're still viable now so you don't need to be going to the latest and greatest pokemon to be competitive um stick with some of your old favorites some of them that you know what you're doing um, and they can be just as good as uh, some of the um, the new stuff that's uh, coming around especially in master league um, mewtwo dialga giratina all absolute beasts so hopefully that was uh, useful for someone thank you very much for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye for now